Perched on a ridge above the Orange County city of Yorba Linda, the Robert B. Deemer Water Treatment Plant is one of the largest water treatment plants in the country. The 212-acre facility treats enough drinking water a day to meet the needs of three million people. The Deemer plant is one of five water treatment plants owned and operated by the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California and is the only plant in the system with an on-site hydroelectric turbine. This design takes advantage of gravity-driven water leading to the plant to generate power and supply renewable energy. The turbine, which is currently undergoing refurbishment, generates 5.1 megawatts of power, equivalent to the annual energy needs of 4,600 homes. The Deemer plant treats water transported via Metropolitan's 242-mile Colorado River Aqueduct and water from Northern California, delivered through the State Water Project's 444-mile California Aqueduct. Water from both sources is blended and used to serve Orange and Los Angeles counties. Construction of the Deemer plant began in 1961 and was completed in 1963 with an initial plant capacity of 200 million gallons per day. The plant was expanded in 1968 to treat up to 400 million gallons per day. Today, the plant treats up to 520 million gallons daily. Deemer was the second water treatment plant built by Metropolitan, and the facility's design and operation drew on experience from the district's first water treatment plant, the F.E. Weymouth plant in Laverne, which began operation in 1941. Construction of the Joseph Jensen water treatment plant in Granada Hills was completed in 1972, followed by Winchester's Robert A. Skinner water treatment plant in 1976, and Riverside's Henry J. Mills water treatment plant in 1978. Drinking water treated at the five plants is delivered to Metropolitan's 26-member public agencies to 19 million Southland residents spanning six counties and 5,200 square miles. The Deemer plant was dedicated on January 15, 1964, with its then-retired namesake joining hundreds of guests in attendance. Robert B. Deemer served as Metropolitan's general manager and chief engineer from 1952 to 1961. He directed the expansion of the Colorado River Aqueduct to its full delivery capacity of 1 billion gallons a day. Deemer joined Metropolitan in 1929 after being recruited by F.E. Weymouth, whom he had met while developing irrigation projects in Mexico. Deemer had worked for the Bureau of Reclamation for several years prior to joining Metropolitan and had a long engineering career in the construction of dams and canals dating back to 1911. Deemer retired on the last day of December 1961 and at the January 1962 Metropolitan Board of Directors meeting he was seated as the city of Pasadena's representative. He held this position for almost five years. Deemer died in 1966 at 78 years old. His legacy continues. Today, the Deemer plant remains a state-of-the-art facility. A recently completed six-year $300 million renovation includes ozonation, the process of quickly bubbling ozone gas through the water to disinfect it and improve its taste and aroma. Ozone replaces the traditional primary disinfection process which relies on long contact times with chlorine to safeguard drinking water. Compared to chlorine, ozone destroys a wider range of microorganisms and produces fewer byproducts. The Metropolitan Water District has now installed ozone treatment at four of its five water treatment plants. And ozonation facilities at the F.E. Weymouth Water Treatment Plant are under construction. The use of ozone will help ensure the plants meet all current and future federal and state drinking water regulations. The improvements at the Deemer plant are one part of a much larger picture that shows Metropolitan upgrading and rehabilitating its vast network of water treatment facilities, pumping plants, and distribution system to ensure water quality and reliability for a thriving Southern California. This was true in Deemer's day and even more so today.